Right, I wanted to quickly show you how to rearrange these boxes that we have on your nursery page. Um, when you click on this, basically, this is what they call a strip in Wix. Um, and strips can have just one column, or they can have three columns, such as this one, or they can have two or five. Um, you can have as many as you would like. Um, I think three works well for this for this format, just because you have a lot of copy here, and uh, we want to have the pictures fairly large. So to move these around, um, there's a couple ways to do it. The easiest way um, for if you're just rearranging within the same column is you can actually manage columns and then you can use these little arrow tools to kind of move the column left or right um, or you can select on one and then move it two over or you know one over this way. So that's the way to rearrange them here within the column but um, because these are in alphabetical order and as over time you're going to be adding more um, you're going to probably want to put some of these up there and move them around. And so when I say it's it's hard, it's not really hard to do this, it's just there's a little bit of a process. So it's not hard though. Um, <coughs> excuse me. What we're going to do is you're going to click on American Plant and then um, you have this whole group selected. Each one of these right now is a group. I like to group them just so that if I move them um, I can use those guidelines. You'll see these pink guidelines that appear uh, or magenta. Um, they show up to kind of show you what's centered in the in the box, um, you know, if it's aligned with the other boxes, which I always like to make sure that's done. So let's leave that there. But let's say you are you wanted to rearrange these. For example, let's say you want Homestead to be after Lauren's. Um, we don't want that in this case, but let's just say you're adding a new one um, or you're swapping them out or they're not in the order you want. You can just click on them and drag that whole group over and then use those little guidelines again to make sure that you're lined up um, centered and um, also lined up with the other images on the page. I don't think that one is, but you'll see see how it has the two magenta lines that go across to show me that I'm lined up there. Let's try to get this one. There we go. I see that now too. So, um, so that's great. If for any reason these are not grouped, you can ungroup them and then you can click on them to edit the copy or do whatever. But if you want to group them again, you would shift select. So you click and hold the shift button to select multiple items and then you can click on group elements and that'll keep that group together once again. Um, I like to keep them together especially when you're moving them so you don't have to move each box individually because there's a text box, there's a button, and then there's an image. That said, if you want to change any of these, just change them directly. You can come here, change image, and select any image from what has already been uploaded or you can use the upload media here and upload from your computer. Um, try to use square images if possible. There's also the ability to edit these and, and edit the cropping of them. If you click on that little crop tool, um, and let me get out of that and show you one more time, but when I click on this image, you'll see this crop tool appears along with lots of other ones. This will allow you to resize the image so it fits better in that box. Um, uh, like if it's, if, if it's, Getting cut off weird, you can always move them around, but try to take a square screenshot if you're doing screenshots to get these website images um, so that it fits nicely in this box format. <clears throat> Let's look at this one. It's cropping. I think it might be more cropped. Well, not really. It's just cropped a little bit, a little bit at the top and bottom. So when you click on that, you can actually kind of move it, drag it around to kind of position it the way you want, and then hit apply to apply that. Um, Another thing you can do, of course, is edit the text by just double-clicking and then um, starting to write. I always say to keep the formatting because that's a little frustrating sometimes. You know, highlight everything up to the first um, letter and then just start typing here, and that way it'll retain that formatting. If you um, start typing up here, it's going to take that formatting, and it's just I, I find it's a little easier. And then you can erase that first letter. Um, that's that's a little easier, but also, there is the paragraph styles, which I have set up. The paragraph 2 is a style. It's at 14 size. Um, I like to keep all these at 14. So if you if you mess it up, you can always kind of use this um, guideline that appears. But again, just highlight everything up till the first letter and then start typing or pasting your text here. Um, pasting also can bring formatting with it. So um, sometimes what I'll do actually is let's say this is this copy came from Word or somewhere else. 
I will actually paste it up here in the URL field and then copy that whole thing, like double or triple click to get it all highlighted and then copy it and then paste it. Um, again, highlighting up to that first letter and then hit um, paste. And that usually will strip out the any formatting that might be coming along. So if you're pasting things and you're seeing weird different sizes or bolding or other underlines, things like that, um, you can clear that formatting by using this little trick. Um, again, but don't hit return or anything here because that'll try to go to that as a website and you don't want to do that. But it's a great way to strip out formatting if you need to um, in this uh, Wix program. So that kind of shows that. Now, if um, let's say you have new ones, well, let's say you have one that goes here. Well, that's perfect because we can just actually copy and I'm actually going to ungroup these and center this. This doesn't look centered. There we go. Um, and then I'm going to group them again and I'm going to copy and paste. So I'm just hitting copy and paste on my keyboard, my key commands, command C and command B on a Mac. Um, but you can also use your file menu at the very top of the screen to, and go under edit and you'll see copy and paste there as well if you don't know your fast keys. Um, this, uh, then once you have this in here, same thing, you're just going to change the image, pick one of the images that you do want to use, uh, change the name of the nursery, and in this case just kind of, again, highlight everything up to that first letter and then start typing the new name. Um, that way it'll retain it and then just delete that first letter when you're done. Um, and always remember there's also these undo. So if you mess something up, you can always undo to get back to where you are. Um, and then make sure you edit your button. So to edit the text and the link, you cl click on change text. You can type in whatever you want this to say here, and then you actually paste the full link to the website here. That includes the H HTTP or the HTTPS. I like to include that whole link. Um, and to get that, I usually will go to that website in another browser window, and then I'll actually copy and paste um, the page that I want to link them. <coughs> excuse me, link them to um, here. So, um, and then you can come here and hit paste, uh, and that's going to apply that to your button, basically. Um, I'm going to undo that because I didn't actually, or I'm going to undo that too because we don't want to do any of that. All right. Um, but that would be how you would add one here or here. But let's say it needs to be in a different order. Well, that's when dragging it comes into play. So you're actually going to drag them down to the order that you do want them. And you'll notice this little attached to column appears up there um, when I roll when I drag this over that column, and then I just kind of drop it when I'm happy with the placement. You could always move it after the fact too, but that attaches it to that column. Then you can drag this new one up here, or do whatever you would like. Um, and just keep in mind, there is this undo up here, so you can always undo all of this stuff. Um, let's scroll down because we're not going to see. So I'm going to undo even adding that because we don't really want a new one. So here we are. Now we're at where we were before. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to quickly show you how to kind of move these around um, and adjust them. Uh, you can always add a whole nother block too, and by to do that, you would just copy a block. I would copy one that has three in it, um, if you're doing three. Uh, and then you kind of come down to the page area on the page that you want to paste it. And then you can move everything down. And I use this little drag handle to do that. So I'll click on that title and then move everything down so I have some room. Same thing with this. This won't come automatically, but use this to kind of move it down. And make sure when you're doing this to use this drag, because if you just drag this, you'll notice that nothing else moves in place. But if you use this drag handle, it'll move everything else down the page in sync as well. Um, so then you're going to just basically copy one of these strips. So you just click once, and then you get this blue strip um, thing. Hit Copy, which is Command-C on a Mac, and then hit Paste here. And then you'll see it kind of drops in here. Then you can kind of drag it into the area you want, and oh look, I didn't leave enough room for this. So that image, that title is back there. I'm going to move that down a little bit, move this down, and uh, now I have that other row, um, so I can start adding things. And then you can move them around and kind of swap them out as needed. So again, I'm going to undo all this because we don't actually want this, and I'm going to just use this undo. You can kind of go. I don't know, lots of times undo, so <laughs> don't worry, you can always kind of go back if you need to. Um, and then hit publish when you're done. Always remember to hit publish fairly often 
Um, after you maybe added a new nursery, go ahead and hit publish and then start moving them around. That way, just in case you mess up, you can always use the site history to go back to view and go back and restore previous published versions, which is really nice. Um, so don't be worried just to publish. Just publish because it saves every version of it and you can always view it and go back in time if you need to. Um, but that'll kind of help you, I think, add more nurseries over time. It works the same for all these other Virginia and whatnot. Just remember to keep these little, these are the anchor elements that uh, the buttons at the top of the page link to. So if they're looking for Virginia, they'll click on it and it'll scroll them down to this spot on the page. So this is just telling the, the uh, website what where to go on, that page, on this page. So just make sure they're kind of connected and associated with. You'll notice they don't move because they're above, um, so you need to just drag them down manually once you've made the space to add additional um, blocks. But uh, anyway, let me know if you have any other questions. Hopefully this is easy enough that you can update this over time and, um, and yeah, and, and just have uh, a good time keeping this updated fairly easily um, and keep using these, these blocks to help people easily see all the different great nurseries that sell native plants. Let me know if you have any other questions and uh, happy editing.